Don't forget that WEYW and 1049 The X are sponsoring a Christmas decorating contest. We are looking for the most creative home in South Florida. All you need to do is send photos of the outside of your home to the email address that you see on the bottom of the screen. The winner will receive a two-night stay at the beautiful Key Lime Sailing Club and Cottages. We are really looking forward to seeing some creative homes. Now before we go today, we're going to talk with the director of airport Peter Horton because I imagine many people are going to be doing some traveling this holiday season. Peter, are you gearing up and ready for the holidays? Yes, uh, the airport uh, is uh, ready and has been actually for the last couple of weeks. You know, last week we had the uh, flight to the North Pole from the 600 uh, preschool children uh, invaded oh. the airport. It was a great, great event. Always was. This is the 27th annual, I believe. Oh, wow. uh, event. So uh, we're ready. You're ready. And do you have some tips for our viewers, Peter? Yeah. Rather than call the airport and ask, and we get those kind of calls all the time, you know, can I bring this, can I bring that? Mm -hmm. uh, you need to check with number one, your airline, but number two, go to the TSA website, which mm -hmm. is a Transportation Security Administration website. That's uh, www.tsa.gov, G-O-V, not com, mm -hmm. gov, <laughs> G-O-V. Ah, see, it's on the, on the screen now. On the now. bottom of the screen for us. Yes. Uh, and uh, that gives you lots of information. Uh, when I fly, can I bring my blank, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. It has a section on that right on the, on the title page. Also, uh, they have some helpful hints for uh, uh, holiday travelers. I just uh, made a copy of that so you can see what they have right on their website. Mm -hmm. And it just goes through just about anything that you would encounter. Locally, uh, you need to be mindful of the times before your flight to show up to the airport. And that's basically two hours. If, so if your flight's at two o'clock in the afternoon, be there by noon. We have two checkpoints now and we can, can process you uh, a lot quicker than we did before during the, the noon balloon, which is 10.30 to 2 p.m. But uh, keep in mind that the airlines start to board 30 minutes before uh, uh, the departure time. So get to the airport early, uh, plenty of things to do downstairs in the departure area. Uh, you won't wait your time. There's two gift shops, a bar, a restaurant, uh, and even an area we call the beach where you can, can have a cigarette if you're so inclined. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so you'll have a good experience there. You'll have something to do while you're waiting. Yes, yes you will. Now, Peter, you have some direct <coughs> flights coming up. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, actually, you know, that's a mistake that I made forever. A direct flight will allow uh, at least uh, one stop. Mm -hmm. So they're actually nonstop flights. Okay. okay. Uh, and I called them direct for years until mm -hmm. somebody from the airline uh, pointed that mistake out to me. Yes, on the 22nd of December, so just in a couple of weeks, we have a uh, nonstop flight from New York arriving the same day a non-stop flight from Washington, D.C. And those will continue on uh, through the season, mostly on Saturdays. But uh, so check with uh, Delta and with U.S. Air if you want to uh, be on those flights. Okay. Now, Peter, what, what's the latest on transportation to Cuba? Ooh, you must be reading my mind. I uh, am reading your mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, I was approached again just last week with uh, a new proposal on, on flights to Cuba. But since this is the third time this has happened since we got the status, the um, uh, uh, port of entry status for Cuba uh, less than a year ago, I'm holding off on that. It, we could have big news soon, but uh, until that really is solidified, we're going to hold up on that. Well, you definitely have to come back on the show and I let us know mm. when and if that happens. You'll be the first person I call. Thank you. <laughs> now, there was a big article that was just released about the Key West Airport, which was wonderful. It compared the airport with many other airports around the country. Well, as a matter of fact, you know, I always travel around with my Wall Street Journal in my back pocket. <laughs> and this is one that happened to come out yesterday. Um, we knew this was going to come out sooner or later because we sent them some photographs. But in the, the adventure and travel section, we have a nice little article. I hope you can see it. Get your Wall Street Journal. Uh, that talks about uh, the Key West Airport and what... Uh, they uh, rated it among the best. Yeah, among, among the best little airports. Mm -hmm. Right. And it, we'll, we'll take that uh, title anytime. We don't mind being called a little airport because we are. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have a lot of flights. We have more than 50 flights a day. And they talked about the ease of, of getting in and out and so forth. And it was a great little article in the Wall Street Journal. 
Well, hopefully people can pick up their copy. And of course, again, if you want any holiday tips on traveling, you can check out the website that Peter mentioned. You'll get all the tips that you need from there. Hopefully everybody has safe travels this holiday season. Well, we certainly hope so. We're, <laughs> we're ready for you. You are ready. Well, thank you, Peter, for being on this morning. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in and joining me today. I hope you can join me right back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.